Matt, thank you. New Bedford police are investigating a shooting that happened this afternoon. Lieutenant Scott Carolla says around 12, they were called to the area of Division Street and Akushnet Ave for a report of shots fired. A man later showed up to Luke's hospital with a gunshot wound. That man is expected to survive. A murder investigation in Warren continues after police say a 76 year old nursing home resident killed his 81 year old roommate. Advocates are renewing calls for action in light of the incident, saying nursing home staff and residents deserve better. Many of the circumstances in this Warren case remain unclear. Sheena Loshuto explains where things stand. Sheena. Well, Warren police are investigating the murder case, but we now know at least two other agencies are also now looking into the facility where authorities say the crime took place, the Crestwood Nursing Home. On the other side of these walls and inside a resident's room, Warren police say one elderly man allegedly killed another. The suspect, 76-year-old Robert Hill, is facing a first-degree murder charge. According to court documents, the victim is Hill's roommate, 81-year-old John Sullivan. A nurse told police it looked like the suspect put pillow stuffing in the victim's mouth. 12 News has confirmed the Rhode Island Health Department was at the Crestwood Nursing Home Friday surveying the site. A spokesperson says the state has also contacted the U.S. Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which is a typical practice when there is an incident at a facility that receives federal funding. The state has a responsibility. Jesse Martin is the executive vice president for SEIU 1199 and is also part of a coalition called Raise the Bar that advocates for nursing home staff. While their union does not represent workers at this Warren facility, in general, Martin says across the board, state leaders need to do more for Rhode Island nursing homes as many are understaffed. He's hoping to get that conversation going strong again. We believe that nursing home residents deserve the right to live in dignity and to get the quality care that they so deserve. We also recognize that the people delivering that care are low wage healthcare workers and the state has a responsibility to lift them out of poverty. We have reached out to Crestwood today, but have not heard back, so we don't know the specifics of staffing there. On Friday, though, employees told us they cannot comment as this investigation is still ongoing. The suspect will be in court on May 8th. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. While Warren police continue looking into a murder at a local nursing home, the Rhode Island Health Department says they're looking into the facility itself. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo breaks down where the investigation stands and why others say it's time to bring conversations about nursing homes back to the forefront. Well, Warren police say inside a resident's room at the Crestwood Nursing Home in Warren, one elderly man allegedly killed his roommate. But why? That's one of the many questions investigators are looking into. On April 27th, a nurse at the Crestwood Nursing Home in Warren tries to check in on two residents when one refuses to let her inside his room. Eventually, the nurse gets other staff together and more people witness the aftermath of what police are calling a murder. The nurse told authorities it looked like the suspect put pillow stuffing in the victim's mouth. These are all details revealed in court documents obtained by 12 News. The suspect, 76-year-old Robert Hill, is facing a first-degree murder charge. According to the documents, the victim is Hill's roommate, 81-year-old John Sullivan. Despite several attempts, the nursing home has not commented on the situation, citing an ongoing investigation. We need to invest in nursing homes. Jesse Martin is the executive vice president for SEIU 1199 and is also part of a coalition called Raise the Bar that fights to improve conditions for those working at nursing homes. While their union does not represent workers at this Warren facility, Martin says in general, nursing homes in Rhode Island are understaffed. It was a conversation that was at the forefront during the height of the pandemic and something that Martin says is still a widespread issue. If we don't take this moment right now to fix these issues, then we're only waiting until the next pandemic to deal with the kinds of disastrous human consequences we saw that COVID had in nursing homes in Rhode Island. Warren police say this is still a really active investigation. The suspect will be back in court on May 8th. I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.